scarlet blaze. The Maiden's Peril. When he learns of the Empire's struggle, Dimitri decides the time is right to strike. He moves swiftly to drive the Empire out, toppling one unfaithful Western Lord after another. Finally, he descends on Aryan Road, seat of Count Roe, the first Lord to betray him. Thus does Edelgard's army begin another grueling march to rescue a different Count. We've been here before. But we were in such a rush to rescue Lenato that we never got more than a glimpse of Aryan Road. Can't really appreciate the scale that quick. And now we're back to bail it out. If only Claude hadn't hatched his feudal scheme. We could have avoided all these needless battles and saved countless lives. Yet, in a more positive light, he handed us the perfect opportunity to show that not even the Alliance and Kingdom together can match the Empire's strength. Once we crush the army of Fargus, our superiority will be clear for all to see. And will that actually result in fewer casualties going forward? Because that is what would put Her Majesty's heart at ease. I will make no guarantees for matters beyond our control. So long as fanatics are willing to die for the Central Church, casualties are inevitable. Ah. Uh. We broke the Alliance's siege, and we can break the Kingdoms too! We're lucky it's a stronghold like Aryan Road that's under siege. It shouldn't be half the nail-biter we had to deal with last time. Yes, but last time Count Burglies was in command. For all we know, Count Roe will break like a twig and surrender the moment he hears the first soldier crest the hill. As I see it, we have two options. We can take a direct path for Aryan Road, or we can wait until we scatter the Kingdom troops that are fanned out in the north. It is a most vexing decision. Professional at staying holed up, I think we should secure the perimeter first and get rid of as much danger as we possibly can. Time is important. We should be striking fast and hard. We're gonna have to deal with the North after we free Aryan Road anyway, so it makes sense to clear them out now and get it over with. Let's keep both options open and see how the situation unfolds. General Randolph. Yes, Your Majesty. I commend you for holding Aryan Road with what few soldiers you had. Thank you, Your Majesty. But I am unworthy of such praise when I failed to prevent the siege. Coordination with Count Roe proved difficult. It was all I could do merely to keep the enemy in check. That alone is commendable. A more foolish man would have rushed to glory, and gotten himself and his underlings killed in the process. I have a key role for you in the coming rescue, General. I know you were up to the task. Of course, Your Majesty. My brother and I will give our all! Very good. But do not let your eagerness for victory come at the cost of lives. We have many more battles ahead and must conduct ourselves accordingly. Hey there, Edelgard. Leafing through documents, are we? This is new. Yeah, completely out of character, I know. But one of these reports has been stuck in my mind. Back when Count Ro declared fealty to the Empire, other lords committed to doing the same, right? But the moment we left and the Kingdom Army marched south, they fell right back in line. It's like they never betrayed Fargus in the first place. Good memory. That's exactly what happened. Houses Elidor and Duval both made overtures to join the Empire. So why is the kingdom welcoming them back without so much as a wrist slap? 
Is this another House Gloucester thing where the politics demand it? Seems like their importance as noble families outstrips the fact they're all two-faced liars. Politics are doubtless involved, but the heads of houses can change, as they did with Gloucester. We're not bound to place importance on any one individual, only the bloodline. So the kingdom's aristocracy gets the same free pass as the alliances? Yes, and the empires as well, even though I do my best to treat everyone equally. I cannot afford to slight a minister's house, for example. They broke fealty to the former prime minister when they swore it to me. Would you call that treachery? What makes it different from the actions of Count Gloucester? Greed makes it different, and I'd say betraying someone for money is lower than low. That's one way to look at it. I agree that what matters is the reason behind the change of heart. Was it for land? For status? To exact revenge or seize glory? Because I view a betrayal for any of those reasons to be utterly worthless. Yeah, money and vengeance are pretty shallow motives. Well, that's why I'm here. I'm not talking about mercenaries. I'm talking about lords. Each of their decisions has the ability to upend the lives of thousands, if not more. Only a person with the character to realize that is truly fit to lead. I've worked for plenty of nobles in my time. Until now, I couldn't have cared less what it means to actually be one. But then you gave me responsibility over all of these soldiers, and it... Well, I guess I'm starting to see the world in a different way. And the people who live in it, too. I see. I admit, your grand designs sail clear over my head sometimes. Most of the time, actually. But that's why I stand by you. I feel like one of these days, something important's gonna rub off on me. And I feel the same. You've opened my eyes to all manner of things I might never have seen otherwise. You are a commoner without the fetters of a family name, wielding your sword directly for me. That's more valuable than you may realize. Can you believe this, Gwendol? We've waited what feels like decades, and still no Imperial army. What is the Emperor thinking? She promised to protect us. Calm yourself, my lord. They will come. We've received reports of a large army forming to the south of Aryan Road. They will scatter this siege to the wind. I have no doubt of that. They had better. It's her promises that swayed me into betraying the kingdom in the first place. I didn't do this just so my lands could be leveled by the King of Fargus's fiery wrath. The Silver Maiden will keep us safe. She yields to no invader. Viscount Elidor and Count Duval have both sent messages, imploring me to surrender for the sake of my people. Yes, perhaps it's not too late. I can lure the Imperial army in and kill them, then beg the king for mercy. My lord. Lenato, you fool. Your rashness is to blame for all of this. This is no time to go soft, my lord. Turning our coats a second time would be abominable. One betrayal can be explained away with the right sort of excuse, but a second? A second paints the lot of us as feckless curs. Ugh. Then what would you have me do? Gwendol, you tell me! 
Command it, my lord, and I will gladly go to my grave. You, however, must not. Yet unless you have fought life and limb for your people, you cannot surrender with honor intact. Anything less would earn you the people's scorn, just as it did your ancestors. Ha! Ha ha ha! Yes, of course. It certainly would not do to forget that row blood is stained with treachery. Well, so be it. A weather vane must go with the wind, and a born traitor must finish the sedition he started. Wise words, my lord. Your people will thank you for this course of action. This isn't good. It seems the fortress gates have been partially breached. The kingdom's soldiers are pouring into Aryan Road. Does that make us right on time or a bit too late? Dimitri is no ordinary king if he managed to pry a citadel like this apart. I assume our soldiers stand ready? We go on your command. If we dally too long, some of our officers and troops are likely to surrender to the enemy. That includes Count Roe, who has a most notorious sense of self-preservation. Yeah, him and every other noble. Come now, that is simply not true. Why, take me, for example. I am the perfect embodiment of what every noble should aspire to be. You can tell us all about it later, Ferdinand. Everyone, move out. that's yet to come. Understood. Courage, everyone. Not a problem. I've got this. Leave this one to... That's my cue. They must learn who they're... It's Bernie's time to... Sure hope this goes... Hope begin. The Sky Spirit, what? I will gladly handle this. Let's march. Starting the mission, is that an order? So, what should I be doing again? Sure, watch Orion this. Orion Road is nearly ours. Keep pressing until we claim the main hall. The King's army is true to its reputation. Even I can only stall for so much time. They're closing in on the main hall. We must help them, and quickly. We must reach the main hall before Count Roe is put in peril. Count Roe values his life above all else. We think it will lead to his throat. The man will betray us in the heart. The main gates are closed. We could circle around from the left or right, but... But the ground along those routes is filled with traps. We'll have to do this the smart way and use the gates. Devices on the walls to the eastern. Here I go. No, they must learn who they're up against. Sure hope this goes okay. I will gladly handle this. Let's march. Stop it. West will allow us to open the gate. This is a serious pain. Why can't the route to the main hall just be a straight line? Main gate 
gates are open. What now? I'll hold the area around the gates, Your Majesty. You keep going. We can do this, Rainbow. None will get past us. It's Bernie's time to shine. Sure hope this goes okay. Not if I've got this. That's my cue. I will gladly handle this. Orders received. Starting the mission. Is that an order? So... What should I be doing? Sure. Let, here goes. The enemy controls the central gates as well. How aggravating. This is clearly going to be a multi-step process. First, we must use devices within the fortress to gain access to the walls, where we will find the devices that will open the central gates. So you're saying we should start by using the two devices in front of the central gates? Ah, why does this have to be so complicated? Maybe they call her the Silver Maiden because our hair will be gray by the time we finish this. I thought it might be you, Emil. This is admittedly not the reunion I was hoping for. Don't make me kill you, Mercedes. the mission. Is that an order? Here I go. They must loop again. The sky speaks. It's not over. We'll never get anywhere with that device until we deal with the soldiers around it. Let us bring this stronghold down efficiently. That's my cue. I will gladly handle orders received. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. Sure hope this already? I'll take levers and switches over more soldiers any day of the week. Mercedes, no more. I never could bear to see you cry. Not then, and not now. Oh, very well. There. Now we can... Not a problem. I'm here to help. Leave this one to me. Looks like you... Here I go. They must learn who they're up against. It's Bernie's time to shine! Sure hope this goes... Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. I will gladly handle... I am here to aid you. Starting the mission. 
Is that an old? So, what should I be doing again? I'll back you up. I'll Reach the take other over. devices that will open the central gates. We must move on those gates. Time is our enemy. The devices we're looking for are up on the walls to the east and west. You call that fighting? The Great Lion has only begun to roar! In the name of the King, the Empire must be destroyed! All troops, advance! The reinforcements have arrived! Then we'll stop them! They can't be allowed to interfere with the rest. Not a problem. I've got this. I will gladly handle this. Orders received. So... What's... Sure. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. Excuse me. I'm counting on you, Randolph. Defend those gates with your life. This stronghold is my stage, and I don't intend to surrender the spotlight. I got this. Here I go. No, they must learn who they're up against. Sure hope this goes okay. Starting the mission. Is that an old? <laughs> one is down, one is to go. Reach the central gates. You will go no further. If to do with you, that means Dimitri is too. Should we call on Castle Gaspar's militia? They've been posing as civilians and should be near the main hall now. Welcome you. We will claim victory. That should buy the main. It's Bernie's time. Sure hope this goes okay. I've got this. Take a breather. I'll support. I will gladly handle this. Orders received. So. What should I be doing again? I'll bet! Leave this one to me. Looks like you could use some help. Begin. The Sky Spirit, what time? It seems we may be able to disarm the traps within the fortress. Take your best shot. I saw another device like this on the other side of the wall. Let's disable it. Forgive me, Your Majesty. Leave this one to me. That's my... So... What should I be doing again? Sure, let's try it. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. Starting the mission. Advancing. It's Bernie's time to shine! Sure hope this goes okay. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're... <laughs> That takes care of their gate. We're nearly to the main hall. Now. This place will never fall with me around. We'd be out of our minds to walk through a bunch of traps. Let's disable them already. Now. Oh, 
Here I they must begin. I am advancing. Starting the mission. Is that it's not over? I'll take this place down before you have time to strap your armor on. Now we can advance safe. We finally have the advantage. Let's work on securing the rest of the fortress. Not a problem. I've got this. That's my cue. Here I go. No, but they must learn who they're up with begin. The Sky Spirit watches over. I will gladly handle the orders received. I'll take over. <laughs> Well, we avoided the worst outcome. That's a start. It seems victory is yours, Lord Gwendolyn. So, what should I- Sure, let's- It's Bernie's time. Sure hope this goes okay. Here I go. No mistakes. I'll provide some protection. Begin. Here I go. No mistakes. They must begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. I will gladly handle orders received. The Empire holds the advantage. Attention all troops! We stand with Lady Edelgard. Put the King's forces to rout! <laughs> You've left me no choice. Every last one of you shall meet your end here. So the blood of the King of Lions wants to challenge me. I might actually enjoy this. We want to slow the enemy. We must put as many troops by the main hall as we can. Hey, weren't there hidden stairs that lead from the east and west walls down to the fortress grounds? Aryan Road has nearly been brought to heal. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. Starting, is that an order? So, what should I be doing again? Sure, let's try it. Not a problem. I've got this. They must watch this. Now we can send troops in from the walls. Time to make the kingdom sweat. Are you here to help? Thank you. You must have kept busy to make such strides in two short years. I could say the same for you. Now let's get this over. Can you offer me your head, Edelgard? I can't. I could say the same for you. Surely the responsibility you bear is no less than mine. Is that it? Aryan Road is the linchpin of the West. If we don't retake it. No. We must retake it. We are at a breaking point. All forces, fall back. Move, Your Majesty. I will guard your escape. That will not be necessary to do. Stay with our king and live on. Starting the mission, is that an order? It's Bernie's time to shine! 
sure hope this goes okay. Not a pro- I've got this. I will gladly orders received. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches- Leave this one to me. That's my- So... Sure, let's try it. Swear that you will return to us. I could not bear to lose you. Bring victory to Farthus, your majesty. Stand aside. So long as I stand, you will not threaten the future of Farthus, nor cause any of my friends and allies harm. I've been weak. I've been unready. But I can still atone by giving the two of them a chance to escape. I yield to no one. Get out of my way. Not done yet. Please, young mistress, surrender. Your life hangs by a thread. I know what's at stake. If I am struck down. Is the king safe? Good. Then I've done what I set out to do. Your punishment! She laid down her life to protect Dimitri and proved loyal to the very end. Because of you, we have defended Aryan Road and many of the Empire's loyal vassals. I thank you for your valor. <sighs> we must hurry, your majesty. The others have already withdrawn. I know. I know. Forgive me, Ingrid. It saddens me beyond measure to leave you here. The blame is mine, your majesty. I should have taken guard of the rear. Then I would only be mourning your death instead. The decision was mine, as is the failure. Every death this day rests on my shoulders. Your majesty, please. She deserved so much happiness. Even after losing her betrothed, she faced life with strength and vigor, only to face the agony of death once more. It should have been me who died. How can I ever atone to Count Galatea? To Glenn? Please, don't torment yourself. Ingrid chose to be there, and she did so for you. Do not take that from her. In the name of this magic lance, I swear I will defend Fargus. So rest now. I will return for you when you are avenged. is ours to make, no matter the sacrifice. I must outwit even death. By your valiant efforts, Orion Road has held strong. I thank you, one and all. Ah, I hardly broke a sweat. Those Kingdom soldiers were nothing. Wait, if they were nothing, then why was I having so much trouble? I can't believe we had to kill Ingrid. <sighs> she was a most formidable commander, Dorothea. We had no choice if we hoped to claim victory. I know that. 
You think I don't know that? Right now, we need to discuss our next move. I'm sending the main body of our army back to Enbar. They'll remain in the capital until they recuperate from this latest string of battles, and until we've had time to retool our strategy. We hold Aryan Road and the Western Church in the west, the Great Bridge of Murden to the east, and Garrig Mock between them. We'll treat all three as key positions and endeavor to hold our lines there. After we regroup, we'll determine a proper time to resume our advance. It vexes me to say this, but I have been short-sighted. We are nowhere near achieving our goals in the Alliance or the Kingdom. My command has been riddled with errors, and for that, I apologize. Oh? And where exactly is all of this coming from? You usually exude confidence. From where I stand, we have come a great distance with minimal casualties. If time has been lost, we should be easily able to make up for it. I'm personally happy I had the chance to see Her Majesty's vulnerable side, even if just this once. Ah, uh, reassuring her with predictable responses, are we? Well, sorry. For once, I'm not sleepy at all. Nice try. That response still registers way up there on the limb scale. I will be using the extra time to make improvements, so I can offer more usefulness in future battles. <laughs> I'm lucky to be surrounded by such consistent friends. So how about me? Do I count as consistent? I can always count on you to be you. And you may take that any way you like. So, we're finally going back to the capital. Feels like it's been ages. Couldn't come at a better time either. My bones could use the rest after all the battles we've been through. I wholeheartedly agree. The respite will help us prepare to face the Ashen Demon. Uh, yeah, about that. I've been giving it some thought, and I don't think we need to obsess over that anymore. But what about Captain Burling and your old allies? The ones who were brutally slaughtered, remember? You said avenging them was your dream. And think about how much hardship the Ashen Demon has put you through since you joined the Empire. Don't get me wrong, I'd still love to prove I'm the better fighter. But imagine if we got someone like that on our side. We'd be unstoppable. It's time for me to put my wants aside and put an end to this war. For my friends. Unless you think that's a mistake. The Ashen Demon's mercenaries have fought for both the Kingdom and the Alliance. They don't have a cause, and they don't care who comes out on top in the end. It's all about who can toss them the most coin. And now that the dust has settled a bit, we've got a chance to lure them over ourselves. And here I thought you were intelligent. Think about it. Their allegiances have changed, yes, but no matter their client, they've always been fighting the Empire. Why would they join us now? For that matter, what makes you think our soldiers would want to fight alongside a person who's murdered hundreds of their comrades? As if nobody's ever flipped sides before. Come on. Yes, but unlike the Ashen Demon, they're not single-handedly responsible for so much killing. Hey, Arlo. Yes? Why is it so important to you that the Demon dies? Because I care about you, of course. I mean, I think that's the reason. Arvel, out with it. 
I suppose it just feels like our destiny. Like it's something we're meant to do.